Today we'll be demoing a brand new plugin from ML Sound Labs called Miko. You may know Miko Logren as having worked with Fractal Audio with a bunch of different cabinet packs over the years, as well as more recently with Neural DSP on their brand new amp simulators. This new plugin, however, is his first foray into working by himself. Now, this plugin is very special for a number of different reasons. Firstly, it doesn't only offer you nine distinctly different speaker cabinets, but it's the way in which it lets you achieve those sounds which is truly special. For old timers like me, what's very, very cool is you can actually grab the microphone like this and move it around the virtual speaker cabinet, getting the sound that you want. Special thanks to my buddy Ola Englund for providing these rhythm guitar tracks for us to work on. This is how the plugin boots up. Best thing to do is just take a listen at default settings. Okay, so that tone is not at all what we want. Let's try changing the speaker cabinet. Sounds like the Mega 412 Old is the one for us. Now just like in real life, you can grab the microphone and move it around to capture different tonality from different regions of the speaker. Alright, so that's a decent starting point. As you can hear, the further you take it to the edge of the speaker, the more of an off-axis, hollow, indistinct sound you get, and the closer you bring it to the center of the dust cap, the more direct, bright, and fizzy it sounds. What I tend to like to do at this point is add a secondary mic to catch a bit of additional flavor and round out the sound. Because this is using the feared material by Ola Englund, I know that he and I are both very fond of the old G12 T75 speakers found in Marshall cabinets. Let's try adding some of that flavor. The mix knob essentially lets you control how much of one microphone you're hearing in respect to the other. Generally speaking, I like to have the secondary microphone somewhere between about 10 to 12 dB quieter than the first, just to fill in the missing gaps but not overstamp the tone. <laughs> As far as the starting point goes, that's pretty damn good. So once you're happy with adding microphones to your heart's content and balancing out the resulting sound, you can hit export IR and actually print your very own unique impulse response unique to your sound. If you guys like what you saw, consider subscribing. There's more material coming out like this on this channel all the time. So until next time, see you guys later.